couldn't get any lower than low English. And if you were in that class, you were dumb. You were in the dummies class. I was in there with one other girl and about 10 boys. <laughs> <laughs> and what I remember most about that class was my teacher. She had gray and yellow hair pulled back in a tight bun. She had a sweet, wrinkled face, and she was very kind and patient with a class of room of students who weren't thrilled about studying grade school grammar. And one day she went around the room and she said, I want each one of you to tell me a goal you have for your life. What's an accomplishment you would like to have in your life? And she came to me, and there I was, couldn't write a sentence straight to save my life. And I said with great confidence, I want to write a book. <laughs> she didn't hit the floor laughing. She didn't say, Susan, I really think it's time to change your goal. She said, perfect, good for you. Susan, you, I know, will accomplish that someday. Well, we need more teachers like her in our world today because you're all here today to celebrate with me the release of my third book. And I'm very, uh, very thankful and very, very proud that, uh, that you all came out to be with me during this uh, very fun time. I am a self-published author. I choose to self-publish because I work full time. I like ownership of my books, and I can do things according to my timetable. I don't have to worry about the publishing house that is going to say, Susan, what are you doing? We need to get some books sold. I can do things in my own time. Now, there used to be a stigma attached to